Hey everybody, welcome back. This video is going to be the first of a series of videos for the restoration of this Hugger Orange 69 Camaro Z28. This will be the second Z28 that I'm working on currently. Uh, the original one was the Le Mans Blue. I've got a whole series of videos on the restoration of this car. Mons Blue with White Stripes, original Z28 numbers matching. But this car here is identical in pretty much every way except for that it's uh, Hugger Orange. So these are some of the shots of the car in its current state showing all the original parts and all the original paint and, and sheet metal. This car is pretty much 100% rust-free. Uh, if you remember in my Oklahoma video for the uh, epic barn find, um, I bought this car there when I went to that 39 car barn find in Oklahoma. I picked this car up there and brought it back. So I'm just now getting around to restoring the car and these are some shots of all the typical uh, areas of the car that that certify that it's a, a real Z28. I'll let the camera run here as it goes through a lot of these uh, shots of various areas of the car showing how original and how rust-free this car is. Now both quarter panels have been replaced and as you can see there, they're original GM quarter panels from back in the 80s. The, the previous owner had replaced both quarter panels back in the 80s and the car has been off the road since around 83 or 84. The car was the original owner had the car until the late 70s and then the second owner uh, bought the car in the late 70s and she had it until around the mid 80s. The third owner bought the car and took it all apart which is the state that the car is in now. Now those front fenders are not original to the car but they are original Z28 fenders. As you can see here, the original holes there are for Z28 emblems. And they're completely rust-free. Original GM fender, original factory uh, Z28 fenders. I'm zooming in here on the uh, Caltag. And as you can see, it's an X77 car uh, built the first week in February and it's uh, hugger orange top, hugger orange bottom, as indicated by the 72. This is the car a couple of weeks ago, just before we moved it into the paint booth, and we cleaned up this cowl area right here to match the original hugger orange paint. In my opinion, that's the best way to match the original correct color. This is an original, this is the original hugger orange underneath the fender there, which never gets any sunlight or wear and tear. All the bodywork is done on the car now and it's ready to go into the paint booth. These are the fenders uh, that have been all reworked and painted on the bottom and then we're going to install them on a car on the car during the painting process so now they've shot the uh the jam areas of the fender and now we'll install them on the car before it's painted Thank you. 
as you can see, these are nice, beautiful, original GM rust-free fenders. So before we put the fenders on, we had to shoot the jams uh, because the fender covers all that area up. So here we are getting the car into the paint booth and getting it prepped to start the painting process. Now I've shown this on previous videos on the uh, on the Le Mans Blue Camaro and also my 70 Cuda, uh, but I always like to show how the paint is mixed uh, following a menu, and it's pretty interesting because, uh, like I showed you that that cowl area, there's a special camera. You'll see that in the Cuda video where the camera takes a photo and then enters the uh, information into the computer and the computer prints out a, uh, a menu which the painter follows when mixing the paint. So here he is doing a test, test uh, board yeah. Then he kind of blows it dry before he puts the clear coat on it. And now he shoots the clear coat. And then we come and put our eyes on it up against the original paint area and it was a perfect match. So again, here we've uh, kind of jammed the areas and then we install the hood and the trunk lid and the, uh, well, the doors were installed already. And then the car goes in for the final prep. Now on this one, unlike the Cuda, the Cuda we lined everything up and, and permanently attached all the fenders and everything. But on this car, we just kind of loosely installed the uh, the front end of the car to paint it uh, so that the paint lays naturally where those body panels are going to be and then we're going to remove the front end of the car so that uh, I have access to the subframe to rebuild the suspension and install the engine and then re reassemble everything afterwards. So here we're uh, just starting the initial paint. Part of this will be sped up here in a minute, uh, just for time's sake. This is just to give you an idea. And again, on the uh, both the Le Mans Blue Z and the 70 Cuda that I just released last week um, shows the same painting process. So he'll go around the car twice, put two coats of the initial color and then he'll do one coat of clear and then we will wet sand the car down with 600 and then uh, two more coats of clear on top of that then at that point I will once the car is cured I will lay out the stripes and then we'll paint those on and uh, clear over, you know, just the hood and the trunk lid. So anyway, that's going to do it for this very first video on this on the restoration of this car. And I will be assembling this car and the Le Mans Blue car to completion uh, with a whole series of restoration videos on both those cars and then uh, and then we'll drive them. So thank you for watching and check out my channel for other videos on this car, the Le Mans Blue Z28 and my 70 uh, Cuda. 
I will put the uh, links down in the description. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.